Hello everyone, this is Foxy Papa Smurf, or FPS Gamer for short, and I'm here yet again bringing you a map showcase of a map created in Halo 2 Anniversary. And this map is called Beachfront. And as you can tell from the intro video, this is a beach type scene, and it's a mini game of sorts that is based on the popular beach sport volleyball. It's a ricochet game type that's modified to emulate the way a volleyball match would work on the beach. You have a net across the middle, and the entire platform or beach area that each team is standing on serves as the goal. It works with teams of 2 on 2 all the way up to 8 on 8. This map functions best with the custom game type that I created called Volleyball, which has a few options to optimize the gameplay on this map. You'll see the two sides are divided into red and blue, but to continue to differentiate each side, we put major landmarks on each side. On the blue side, you'll see this very nice rock arch that is protruding out of the ocean. And on the red side, you'll see this shipwreck on this uh, pile of rocks right here. Again, this is just to further differentiate one side from the other. The gameplay that you're currently seeing is a 1v1 match, and I will say that this map is not optimized for 1v1. The gameplay requires that the person with the ball does not move at all, again to further bring out the volleyball feel. So you'll see once we spawn with the ball, we have to throw it a few feet and pick it up again in order to make it over the net. This is designed to work better with teams so that once you have the ball you have to stand still and your teammate can run further ahead and you can throw them the ball. Another important thing to recognize is that if you hold the ball for longer than three seconds it will self-detonate, again to promote team play and to keep the ball moving again to, to further give that volleyball feel. And you might be wondering about the space underneath the goal and what's to keep players from throwing the ball or just crossing that barrier. And I put a small kill barrier underneath there to prevent teams from crossing. A problem we ran into with that solution is that people would hit the net and fall straight down and fall into that kill boundary and die. So to prevent that, we put a one-way shield facing on either side of the net so that if the ball or a player runs into the net, they will immediately bounce off of it. And the ball also obeys all the boundaries placed on the map. The green area is a 10 second kill boundary, and if the ball is left there for more than just a, a handful of seconds, it will self-detonate. However, underneath the net, if someone were to throw the ball, it immediately detonates, so you don't have to worry about someone throwing the ball underneath the net and scoring a goal. Again, these are all solutions we come up with as we playtest. You can see that playtesting is a very important part of the map creation process. And I also want to give a special shout out to Foxwolf2001 and Nvenom for their help with playtesting and creating this map. They did a lot of the, the scenic features that you see on the map. Overall, it's a very simple map, a very simple game type, and it promotes a lot of uh, really great team moments. All in all, the gameplay is very smooth and, and functions just how you would imagine it would. It's one of those game types that's very simple and the moment you start it up, the goal and how to play the game is immediately understood. Thank you guys again so much for taking a look at my map, I really appreciate all the support. And if you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe to get more videos just like it. And if you don't mind sharing this video as well, that really helps me out a lot. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you next time.